In question 7.2 of the stoichiometry tutorial, you're asked to calculate the empirical formula for a substance that contains 31.89%, potassium 28.94%, chlorine and 39.17% oxygen. The way that we do this is we start by making an assumption and saying, let's assume that we have 100 grams of the substance. You can obviously assume any amount, but we assume 100 because what that then means is that we can convert directly from a percentage into a mass, which would mean that if we had 100 grams of the substance, then we would have 31.89 grams of potassium, 28.94 grams of chlorine, and 39.17 grams of oxygen. Now, once you've got this, you can use your formula to convert from a mass into a number of moles. And we do that by saying the number of moles of potassium is equal to the mass of potassium, 31.89, divided by the molar mass of potassium found on the periodic table, which is 39, and that gives us a value of 0 0.82 moles of potassium. We do exactly the same thing for chlorine where we say we have 28.94 grams of chlorine and chlorine has a molar mass of 35.5 grams per mole which means that we also have 0 0.82 moles of chlorine present in 100 grams of the substance and finally same thing for oxygen 39.17 grams of oxygen over the molar mass of 16 would give us 2.45 moles of oxygen present. Now, once we have that, we can use those numbers of moles to calculate the ratio in this compound. So this compound is obviously made up of potassium, chlorine, and oxygen, and they are combined in a ratio of 0.82 moles of potassium to 0.82 moles of chlorine to 2.5 Four, five moles of oxygen. The way that you simplify this to get it in a ratio of one to one to something is you divide by the smallest number which in this case is 0 0.82 and you divide all three. So 0 0.82 divided by 0 0.82 gives you one. Same for chlorine and 2.45 divided by 0 0.82 gives you a number that is very close to three. And what that then tells us is that the empirical formula for this substance is K1Cl1O3.